Okay, and let's check out some of our camera views here. We can see our continuum down there. Looking in the bed. Looking down the sides. Looking up front. Front camera, rear camera. I wonder if there's another view here. This is about the best view, I think. Okay. It's going to be really interesting to kind of report on the difference in towing with this truck versus the GMC because the, the Denali certainly doesn't have an issue. Now, you're about to hear something that just drives me nuts on this truck, that. I'm not wearing my seatbelt at the moment because I'm just driving really slow and I can reset it by putting it in park and put it in reverse and it doesn't go off when you're in reverse but it definitely goes off while you're driving at any speed. Okay, so we are loaded up. We are taking off for an evening trip. We're basically gonna go out by the water, hang out there. We love to do that. That's one of the greatest reasons to have something compact for us. So I got the whole family loaded up. Y'all wanna say hi? Hi. Love going out on a weekend, just spending time with the family and enjoying it. And these real small RVs let you do that very easily because they, they take no time at all to hitch up. And uh, once you're hitched up, you basically get where you're going. You don't even have to unhitch most of the time. We are extending our tow mirrors, which is a super cool feature this truck has. You can see the trailer here in the back. Let's see if I can get a good view of what I'm trying to see here. So you got the surveyor right there. Have our TPMS up, we're ready to go. All right, we'll talk to you here in a little bit when we're on the road. Trailer brake controller that's built in, that's right here near my leg, actually is not functional until you add a trailer and define what type of trailer it is. So just to hitch up and go was a little more complicated because it kept saying my trailer brake controller was off. And uh, yeah, I had to come to a stop, pull over, assign the trailer, uh, and indicate that it was over 5,000 pounds, and then it enables me to actually adjust my gain. So kind of concerning. I really wish there was just an override feature so you could just adjust your trailer gain control like you might typically uh, because if you're not taught this and you hook up a trailer it could get rather confusing if you hit the road. Anyways we are uh, we're continuing on. Okay so we are on the road. In many cases whenever you add tongue weight to a truck it softens the suspension quite a bit but in this case it kind of feels about the same. That's probably because of the air suspension on the back of this truck. So the air suspension, of course, isn't made for softer ride. It's really designed to level the truck out whenever you're hauling something. Okay, so we have it set in tow plus mode, which is essentially uh, the way it tunes the transmission, this 10-speed automatic transmission to tow with a bit more power and finesse. And it has no problem towing the trailer. I mean, from a, uh, a power perspective, yeah, this thing hauls the trailer like, like it's not really back there, but this road is relatively rough, even though the trailer is not really that difficult for this truck to haul. But you can just tell by my voice that this bumpy road isn't being made very smooth. Yeah, the truck pulls the trailer pretty effortlessly. It's um, it's a pretty smooth ride. You know, you definitely can tell that you're hauling a trailer, just like you could with the GMC. Um, I'm gonna say that the GMC does feel softer in the back. Whenever you go over bumps, it doesn't feel quite as firm as this truck. Now, this truck really, to me, does feel like a borderline three-quarter ton. It really does. And again, I, I almost feel as if it's intentional. I almost feel as if the folks over at Toyota want you to feel as if you're in a truck that, that has more of a truck feel to it versus just pure you know, luxury or pure luxury SUV feel to it. But who knows? I mean, honestly, the, uh, the suspension on this truck feels good. The truck feels solid. Um, it doesn't feel as if there's you know, any type of suspension issue. It just definitely has more of a firm suspension, uh, firmer ride to it than most of the other half-ton trucks that I've driven. I do like the tow mirrors. Okay, so we are on the causeway. We are headed out to North Padre Island. And honestly, the truck feels really good. It's towing it, no problem. How do you feel, sweetie? It feels good. It's not as um, bouncy or you don't feel the thuds on the bumps as bad as when the trailer is not hooked up to it. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. The the weight of the trailer is doing a reasonable job of yeah, making the suspension feel a little bit more planted, a little softer. Uh, not a lot of bounce to it as well, which is really nice for a half-ton truck because one of the reasons why Toyota may have actually tuned the suspension the way that they've tuned it is because whenever you're, you're hauling a trailer, if you have too much bounce, that bounce can lead to kind of an un unstable feel. And if you can limit that, make the, make the truck a little firmer, then it's gonna it's gonna keep the truck a little bit more planted and you're gonna feel more confident whenever you're towing it. But right now it feels good. We'll be going over the bridge here in a little while and I'll be able to kind of give you my feeling on how this truck tows going up a grade. But I don't think we're gonna have any issue with it. I mean, by all accounts, this uh, this twin turbo hybrid engine that they put in here, the iForce Max, it really isn't struggling at all to tow this trailer. Uh, fuel economy wise, I reset the trip computer and the fuel economy computer here before we took off on this trip, and we're showing about 8.2 miles per gallon as an average. Um, so if you consider normal city driving to be about 16 miles per gallon, highway driving to be upwards of 22 miles per gallon, and while towing, again, a relatively light travel trailer. Right now we're probably at about 6,100 pounds total weight behind us. Um, about 650 pounds on the tongue. In my opinion, this surveyor that we have is really the ideal size travel trailer for a half ton truck. And that's kind of approaching even the larger side of what I would recommend because it's gonna give you a big enough floor plan for your longer trips while at the same time, it's not overly long or overly heavy and it's got manageable tongue weight so you can manage it with most half ton trucks. Now also keep in mind, that not all half-ton trucks are created equal. There's plenty of half-ton trucks that have a very low towing capacity. Believe it or not, there's still half-ton trucks that have like 6,500 pounds worth of towing capacity. This truck's closer to 10,000 pounds. And the actual payload capacity on a lot of these trucks is closer to like 1,100 or 1,200 pounds. So you definitely gotta be sure what type of truck you're getting and you're getting the right truck for the right towing application. In my opinion, the trailer that we're towing right now, which is our, our 2024 Forest River Surveyor, it's a 240 BHLE. It's got a gross vehicle weight rating of about 7,500 pounds in that range, and it's got a dry weight of about 5,500 pounds, a little closer to 5,300 pounds. Um, this is what I would generally consider to be at the very highest end of what I would recommend towing with a half-ton truck. Um, we're not we're not stressed out towing it, which is a big check in the box for me. That's that's something that I absolutely consider to be a prerequisite for a half-ton towable RV. Just because you can tow something larger and heavier doesn't mean you should, or it doesn't mean that it's gonna make you feel comfortable if you are. So by that I mean this truck is managing this trailer in such a way that I don't feel stressed out. I don't think my wife feels stressed out, right? I feel that we're towing it in a manageable way, but if the trailer was much larger or much heavier than what it currently is, that towing experience would dramatically be different. Yeah, it definitely feels like it can handle it with no problem at all. Yeah, and it really can. Oh, we're at, we're at 9.8 miles per gallon now. So the fuel economy number has gone up as I kind of baby it a little bit. Because the goal here is if you're hauling a travel trailer, you're not looking for like off the line performance. You're looking for a truck that when you're not towing has great performance, but when you are towing, performs well uh, considering what you're asking of it. And this is, a, this is a good example of, you know, a truck that gives you the typical fuel economy and the typical experience that you should be looking for whenever you plan on towing with a half ton truck. But yeah, it feels good. I mean, no problem at all. I would have no issue towing something like this across the country with a truck like this. Um, not at all. And I know there's a lot of folks out there who say that with this V6 twin turbo hybrid engine that Toyota opted to go with in these new Tundras that you're just asking for a truck that's not going to be reliable. And I, I would venture to say that unreliable and Toyota don't work well in the same sentence together. Most people that get a Toyota know that they're gonna have a pretty dang reliable vehicle and a vehicle that's gonna last them a long time. And I don't disagree. I don't believe that anybody getting a Toyota Tundra like this would have to worry about the truck breaking down on them or being unreliable. Now I'm sure there's probably a few examples where some trucks have rolled off the assembly line, maybe not perfect, 
but overall Toyota has always built an incredibly reliable vehicle and I think that this Tundra is just another example of that. And one of the comments that I often get related to some of the videos I've been producing about tow hooks and the lack of tow hooks on Tundra, some people are like, well, you really don't need them unless you are going to do serious off-roading. And that's entirely not true. So if I were going to take this truck out on the beach, which we may very well do, and I happen to get stuck or I can't pull it out because I'm on soft sand, if I have a tow hook on the front or a place to anchor a tow hook, I can get my truck recovered. But right now, I don't know where I would actually hook a recovery strap to this truck if I were going to try to pull this truck out of a situation that I might find myself in. So that is something that I'm, I'm definitely concerned about, and I do believe the folks at Toyota need to find a way to incorporate tow hooks back into their truck packages, especially if it's a four-wheel drive truck. Okay, so the place that we usually go had a bunch of people there already, so we're gonna go to a different spot that we really enjoy. Uh, quick update on fuel economy, 9.9 .9 miles per gallon. We're actually headed towards downtown um, on a really nice road. This road used to be horrible, and now they've resurfaced it or repaved it completely, and it's incredibly smooth. So it's a really good example of what it's like to tow on a very smooth surface as opposed to something that's bumpy. And again, towing no problem at all. I think this is definitely the type of towing most people are seeking. Just, you know, again, not white knuckling it, not having to be stressed out about what your trailer's doing to the truck, being able to drive at a, you know, at a fair speed and being able to essentially just comfortably have a conversation with people in the vehicle and not constantly worry about what the trailer's doing. This is a really good combination, honestly. And um, yeah, we're gonna set up here a little bit closer to downtown and we're gonna spend some time out here as well. So we got some family coming to meet us out here. So once we get out here, we're gonna get all set up and we'll enjoy some time with the family. And quick update on fuel economy, we're at 10.4 miles per gallon. We've been averaging between, I'm gonna say 45 and 65 miles an hour, depending on where we were and what roads we were on. But the average fuel economy right now is at 10.4, which isn't too bad considering. Now, you know, if you're gonna to be towing with a heavier duty truck, 10.4 is still actually pretty good fuel economy, even for towing something this small. Anytime you're towing anything at all, you're gonna see a dramatic drop in fuel economy, not just because of the weight, but also because of the wind profile, how the wind actually reacts to whatever you're pulling. And um, you know, a big RV or a big camper is certainly something that's gonna impact how well your vehicle goes through wind and how wind reacts to it whenever, uh, whenever it hits the surface. Okay, so we are all set up, just waiting for the rest of the family to show up, and they may be pulling up right now. We got the awning out. They're gonna bring some hot dogs so we can grill some hot dogs out here as well. Check it out, right on the water. Is this not absolutely beautiful? And right now, the weather is perfect. It's about 61 degrees outside, very, very light breeze. We have the awning out. I mean, I think we're gonna do a little fishing out here as well, but the water is completely smooth. And uh, it's only about seven o'clock, so it's not even that late yet, 6.30, seven o'clock. There's gonna be a lot more people coming out here once it gets a little later, so we've picked our spot. Really nice, we're gonna start setting out some lawn chairs and we're gonna enjoy it. Anyways, I have to tell you that the Tundra did an absolutely phenomenal job towing this rig. And when you see it here and you see it hooked up to the Tundra, you can definitely tell it's not as small as you might think it is. I mean, it's a good sized travel trailer and the Tundra does an admirable job towing it, no problems whatsoever. Super impressed. Um, you know, I gotta tell you that Half ton trucks, when you pair them with the right size RV, when you don't go too large, when you, you get a manageable size RV, it can be a really, really great vehicle to take an RV out with and to have a great, great time and not do it in a way that stresses you out. And I guess that's the whole point. Every time I make my half ton towing recommendations, it's all about picking the right truck with the right RV. And for this size of RV, for the weight and for the length and the height, the width, it's a perfect truck for it. And it does a really good job. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wait for the rest of the family to show up because I think they're stopping by the store to pick up some stuff and they should be here any minute. I thought they would be here already, but we're gonna enjoy the evening and uh, really uh, enjoy the RV because this thing's been super cool. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.